Hi everyone, this is Matt Stevens in Penang, Malaysia. Uh, back with you for mine, EVO Minecraft MOOC tutorial part two. And um, part two is going to be about finding a tree and making simple tools and um, getting to where you can get out in the world in the game. So, uh, we're in missions for Minecraft MOOC 2021 and um, yesterday I showed you how to get onto the server we went to server info and we found that information so this is how you connect with the server it's all explained there um, okay so this is where you are right now and what we're going to do now I showed you how to to um, play Minecraft so if you launch in Minecraft 1.16.2 and you select multiplayer, then it asks you what server you want to play. I think yesterday I told you how to configure the server, but I forgot to mention that you have to add the server. So uh, the server address was given yesterday. We can see what it is in a minute, but if you need to add a server, you put the server address there and then um, once you've done that, then it'll you click done, okay? And the server address, if you remember, uh, we can see the server address. It was mc.evomc.net. So when you put the server address there, then this server will appear. And if you're in the right version of the game, uh, 1.16.2, that's that version right there. Then you're ready to play. So let's play. So we're going to join the server, and let's see where we are. Remember, I told you, uh, okay, I've joined the game. It looks like it's light outside, but I don't think so. It's still having to load in its data. Okay, here it is. Yep, no, it's dark outside. Remember, I said you hit the what I call the forward slash. Some people might call it the backslash. Anyway, it's the one that slants forward like it's leaning forward and you go to the fourth line down and you click on EVO that uh, you click on that URL and then you can copy it to your clipboard if you want but I want to open it directly and if I open it directly I can see where I am in the server and I can see what time it is and it's 4:45 in the morning that's probably a little bit early for me so what we're going to do today I, uh, I'll show you uh, we're going to go to sleep uh, Okay, let me just, uh, okay, so we're going to go today into this forest, and we're going to get some lumber. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, let me go back to my game. Okay, game is uh, here somewhere. There's my game. Sorry. Okay, there's my game. Oh, let's go back and get it back. Okay, so... I'm going to uh, now sleep, right click on a bed, ah, it, it's too late, too late to sleep right now. Let me just position things on the screen here, okay, so, okay, that's, make this a little bit smaller so I can see my time, okay, I think I had this a little bit smaller last time, I'll just move this over. Okay, well actually, okay, so I want to see the time, so I uh, might just move this over a little bit, so the time slips over here, okay. Now then, okay, now I can see the time. So, going back to the game, uh, you've had a good night's sleep, you're awake where you were, where you went to bed last night, you have nothing in your pockets, if you press E, you can see what's in, well those are your pockets, what I call the pockets, that's what Dakota Redstone calls pockets, and this is what I call my hands. I think it's also called a hot bar. Um, so here we have nothing, so we want to go out and get something. Now, let's go check on the garden. Uh, let's see. Remember we have a garden over here, and um, well it looks like a couple of carrots have come in. I'll just grab a few carrots here. So. If I grab some carrots, oh, here they are. I have to pick them up by going forward, moving W to go forward. I got five carrots. It's something to eat. 
I'm going to plant one of those carrots back where I got it from so that it will grow and will multiply. And there are more carrots there. So I want more carrots. I can take more carrots and uh, you know keep plenty of carrots. Okay, so those carrots are for people to take. And the rule is that you should plant. Oh, I hit Q by mistake. And Q spits things out of your hand. Okay, another thing I want, I'm going to go into this forest and get some trees, but those trees are rather tall. So what I want to do is I want to come up here and just grab some dirt. Uh, lots of things you can just get with your hand. So let's see, if I just uh, use my, my fist, like your hand, your fist, <coughs> you can just grab some dirt and it will come... Uh, the, uh, the reason I'm getting some dirt is I want to make a tower so I can climb those trees and get the logs that are up there. Okay, so there's a few pieces of dirt. Never hurts to have a bit of dirt to carry around. You never know. You can put it down, make bridges, things like that. So I'm coming from the shelter we were just in, and I'm going out into the forest. We were here yesterday. It was a bit dark there. Okay, so um, maybe I'll make it a little easier to get down here by removing that log. It makes two ways to get down. Now. Um, there is a trail going out that way, but yesterday we came into the forest here, we followed some torches, and it's a little lighter out here now. So uh, I want to find a tree, I think I picked that one right there, and to chop a tree, uh, you hit it with your fist. So you left click, left, left click destroys, right click touches. Okay. Oh, it sure is taking time. Okay, these are pretty solid logs here. All right. Maybe I won't take all of them, but just to illustrate. Uh, that's a big tree there. Okay, so I'm, I'm not going to spend time taking the whole tree, but I did plan to show you if you actually wanted to get all that tree up there. Right now, I, I've got to walk over the logs that fell down. I've got four of them there. I guess that should be enough for right now. If I want to get up in the tree, uh, if I to get more logs, I can put a block of, I can put a, uh, I can put a piece of dirt next to the tree, okay, I get on the dirt, and I look down at the dirt, but to put something down, I right click, now if I jump the space bar and right click again, with a log in my hand, you see, I can, I can get up and take the rest of that tree. That's a little trick you might need to know. You can also get away from monsters who are attacking you that way if you want. Okay, so um, okay, so with these logs, I'm going to go and show you how we uh, how we make things with them. So you can see on the map where that I'm going back to the path. Yesterday we saw an Enderman in here. Um, they're they're dangerous if you look at them. Let's see. Is this the way we're going? Eh, not really. Okay, back over here. I'm keeping an eye on the map. You know, I'm just going to pop over the side here. No, I'm going way the wrong way. We'll go there some other time. Okay, this is the way back to our uh, the path back to the to the shelter I just left. I have to jump over those branches. These uh, our server is now in its autumn colors, so uh, all the, a lot of the leaves have changed. It's a something you put back into the some uh, plugin for the server. Okay, so going back now to um, to the shelter because inside the shelter is a crafting table. Now, if you wanted to make a crafting table and put it anywhere, actually. Let's, let's just try that. Let's do that. I hit E, and with those logs, I can put I can put a log up here, and I can make planks. Now, logs you don't need for anything really, unless you want to make something that burns. So I'm just going to take those four logs, and I'm going to pull them down. Each one makes four planks, and I'm going to end up with 12 planks. Sorry, 16 planks. Now I've got 16 planks. Now. Um, I can take two planks and I can make sticks. Okay, so 
two planks there makes the sticks. I, could, I also have a menu over here if you have it uh, toggled in. And well, I can make a crafting table. Okay, so four of those planks makes a crafting table. So a crafting table helps me make more things. So there's the crafting table. So if I just set it, let's see. Um, I could just set it over here by this chest. Okay. Um, okay. Set it right here by the chest. And so I'd actually, I went a little bit out of the way. Maybe I'll set it back here by the pumpkin. Okay. So if you're in the forest and you just chop down some logs, the first thing you should do is go uh, hit the E key and put your logs, make planks from your logs. The next thing you should do is get four planks and make a crafting table. The crafting table will be there. You see that I can click on that and there's a crafting table. If I want the crafting table, I can pull it down into my inventory. Okay, to use the crafting table, you right click on it. When you right click on it, if you've got your menu here, uh, you can get some other things. Like for example, you can get a sword. I like to keep a sword uh, in my left hand there. I'm going to put the dirt out of the way. Uh, I don't need planks in my hand, but dirt, as you saw, sometimes you can put it down. It's quite useful. So uh, we need uh, a sword, maybe uh, a pickaxe. A pickaxe with pickaxe, a pickaxe I can get cobblestone. I need that. So these are the things I don't really need right now. That's uh, if I want to make more sticks, I could maybe make more tools because the the sticks, the tools require, um, they require st uh, that you put sticks in certain configurations. For example, if I want to make a pickaxe, you can make them uh, on the crafting table by manually putting two sticks there and, four and three planks across. But I don't need anything else right now. So we've got the basic materials right there. So, um, Let's see, back to the, back here, we have some of these things for you. The reason I instinctively was going back to the shelter was that there's already a crafting table there. Okay, so with these two things, what is this thing? That's jungle planks. Okay, I don't need the planks there. Sorry, uh, I'm going to press E and put the planks back up here get them out of my hands. Let's go find some cobblestone. Uh, I did something while well, you slept last night. I made, I found a way down to the mine. You know that mine that's over here? This mine that I committed suicide in? Oh, by the way, if you're out wandering around, you should carry your sword in your hand. You can see it there now. now I've got a pickaxe in my hand. I just scroll through, or you can press the number one, the number two. Okay, so here, um, I want to go in there. You can see some torches down there because uh, people have been there. I've got a, a way down to that mine and it's right here. It's behind the house. There's the house with the tower on it. Now, you know, right now it's 1700. You see over here on the map that it's 17, just turned 1800. It's getting late. Let's not go in the mine right now. Let's, at about 1900, we'll go to sleep, then we'll go in the mine, and I'll show you how to get cobblestone. And when you get cobblestone, you can make um, stone tools. Stone tools are stronger than wooden tools. Okay. <coughs> go back to the game. This is, a, this is one way into the mine. There's another way into the mine. They, they both go to the same place. Um, maybe in the morning I'll show you the other way. Okay, so this is where our garden is right here. We'll just go by there so you're oriented. Uh, there could be monsters around this time of night, so you have to be careful. Okay, so... Um, oh, okay, right-click on the door to close it. You want to make sure you close it so you, because inside a shelter you're perfectly protected as long as you've sealed it off from the outside and there's no way for anything to get in. So this is the bed we used last night. I'll just right click on it and see if I can sleep. Yes, I can. I can sleep. You'll notice that the time over here 
is 19.30. Now the time has shifted to 6 o'clock in the morning, so we can go out and play. It's still a time we might get some monsters about. Uh, let's go and have a look anyway. The monsters will burn off. I don't know if you noticed in my part one game when I was attacked by the zombies. The zombies... Um, Let's see, I think I'll go out this way. I said I was going to take you to the other way. So the zombies burned off as they were attacking me yesterday. If you review part one video, you can see that. So um, I've got a little way from the... Ooh, I almost went into that mine there. Okay, so from the mine that I showed you earlier, there's another way down into the mine. As long as you're with me, I'll take you there. I put some torches here because when I came out of the mine at, at night, I fell into the to the crack there. So uh, I made a little rail here to make it a little bit less daunting. But basically, we can go. I made this uh, little path down here. So as long as you're careful and you go bit by bit, you can go down into this mine. So you can go way down here. But let's look. Let's grab some cobblestone. You can. There's different kinds of minerals down here. So here it looks like there's maybe that's dirt. I don't really know. Let's just see what we can get here. Okay, so that is dirt. Uh, I want cobblestone. Let's make a little. We can make some steps here. By we don't have to make steps to get the cobblestone, but just if you're if you want to make steps, you could. So if I oop, that's my sword. If I use my um, my pickaxe, I can get cobblestone this way. So there's three bits of cobblestone. Do you remember uh, a pickaxe requires two sticks and three blocks of pl three planks? Well, if you replace the planks with um, cobblestone, then you'll have um, you'll have stone tools, which are stronger and last longer than the ones that are made with wood. Okay, so um, let's grab a little bit more cobblestone here. This is a, another way I... Th oh, did I go here at some point? Maybe I did. I don't know. I think this actually goes into a... Oh, it does. Look at that. It's making a pit. You know what? I can make this a little bit safer by putting some cobblestone right there. See? There we go. Now the I just uh, placed the cobblestone. That little X that you see, if you place that on something, like if I place it here, see where you can see it. There you can see it. If I place it here, I can place one of my, oh, at least two of my cobblestones there. What I want to do now, uh, I'm just taking the bits of cobblestone back. Okay, so now I've got, once I walk over them, I've got eight pieces of cobblestone. I must have lost one somewhere. Maybe it fell down there. Okay, so I need two to make a sword and three. So I've got enough cobblestone. So Let's go on back up. We'll go back to the house where our crafting table is. Or another thing we could do, we could go down where there's a shelter. Let's go down here. There's a shelter down here. Um, I cut all this. There we go. Okay. So I've just got to work my way down carefully. Down into this pit. Okay, here we go. Now we're there. There's my shelter. So. I made a little shelter here. So in the shelter, there's a crafting table. Okay. Um, there's a bed. If we needed to sleep here, we could do that. So if you right-click on the crafting table, you'll see we have now, since we have cobblestone, we have more tools available. So I could make a stone pickaxe with three cobblestones and two sticks. And, you know, it doesn't have hurt to have more than one tool with you because if one runs out and you really need it, you can have another one. So um, I'll make a stone sword as well. Stone sword, there we go. So I'll put my stone sword where I can use it. And that's it. So I wanted to show you today how you could make these tools. Well, let's see, it's 11 o'clock now. Let's, let's We'll just go on back up to where we were. You can see the other way to go. But I made this. This is the way we came down here. 
the way that goes back up to my um, back up to the pit that I've made the entrance to the pit at the top near the house that's this way when I tried to come up here last night I found an Enderman in the stairway I don't know if he's still there oh by the way I'm following these stairs I put in andesite stairs they're a little bit off color so if you follow the stairs uh, you go up the end the Enderman was right here last night he wouldn't go away okay so here uh, I'm just following the torches and uh, follow everything all the way up oh no, no I slept there I slept there and that's why I dug that hole I made a shelter I was here after hours so I hacked into there and then uh, to seal myself off I put a I put a torch there on the wall and to seal myself off I placed two cobblestones here and then I just waited until the clock showed me that it was okay to come out and then I was safe so that's one way that's that's a nice way to make a shelter you know another way another thing about the shelter is if you add an angle to your shelter and this is a tip I got from Dakota Redstone if you make a tip from your shelter then you can actually leave your shelter open I think actually you have to leave it like that okay so you, I don't think anything can really get in here but a skeleton can come in and shoot you so that's why you need to have this little uh, if you've got a little closet to step into then the skeleton can't get you so I don't think that monsters can get through this one block so there's a few tips about making shelters you can dig into a mountainside you can dig into a cliff face if you're out at night and you need to make a shelter then that's where you can go well often in mines you can find coal and things like that actually the next thing we need is we need some coal because you need to have light right now we've got um, um, we've got torches back at the shelter but let's see if we just come up here and maybe uh, okay let's see uh, I think I found some iron around somewhere let's just let's look around and see there's a little place in here no I don't have any matches I don't have any matches it's really hard to see I don't have any torches so unless I grabbed a torch if I robbed a torch I could put a torch in there that, that would be easy to do let's just take it by right clicking on oh this, I got it okay I got a torch here so here I could put uh, I can put a light it's very dark in there so it's possibly dangerous um, it's a little hard to work if you don't have light but it's quite possible that down there doesn't look like it's been explored so you might be able to find uh, you might be able to find some coal places like that okay so here I'll just remove this it can remove anything you might find coal behind it you never know okay so that's just to make it a little bit easier to get in and out of there all right so uh, I think actually I went into there already looking for um, there was some iron or maybe some coal in there I'm not really sure what there was but where there's iron you can often find coal so just oh there went one of my torches let me see if I can go get it I'm not picking it up because it um, what could it be hmm. see I only have one torch here so I lost that torch okay well that's nice I have now a torch um, I have diorite from here. I have cobblestone, so I've got a lot of things. As the more I break down, the more I accumulate. I've got the right kind of sword, and so we'll just pop up here. And this is back at the house. You see, it's getting a little bit late now. It's 1707, and this is where we came from. So you can get back down into the mine there. So if you want to go and find trees, this is basically how you get yourself established in the game. Everything, I'm, I'm what I call a pioneer in the game. That is, some people uh, <coughs> use special powers <coughs> to build fantastic builds. And I think that's a, a real skill to design and build things. Uh, in my case, I use uh, 
the, oh, by the way, Dakota Redstone is one of our developers. He installed this fireplace here. I don't really know how, where he got the material, but I would imagine he was in creative mode. And um, that means he has special uh, powers to get things. You can, you can also mine in here. You can mine inside a house like this if you want. If you want to see what's, what's there. There could be some, <coughs> some minerals up here. Anyway, you can look anywhere that you, <coughs> you think you might find. Um, you, know, you, can, you can keep that going up there. We can make another room up there if we wanted. Um, so anyhow, you want to make sure you don't want to expose yourself to things that you don't want to make a hole in your shelter and then things could come down. Okay, so I don't really see anything up there that's mostly looks like it's dirt and d uh, that's accumulated. Over oh, there's a there's a hole right there. You see? I uh, don't want that to be there. So if I cover it up, there we go. Okay, there we go. The hole's covered. All right. Let's be careful. Okay, well, that's it. I think I'm going to say good night, and it's been nice playing with you. And when I come back again, I'll see if I can get my wife, Bobby Bear, to join in the game, and we can possibly go on an adventure. Okay. Bye from Penang, Malaysia, and sweet dreams. <laughs>